Hey, it's D. All right, so right now I'm headed to a Japanese restaurant to see how they prepare for their omakase service, and they also do takeout, so let's go see how they do it. So this restaurant is all about the omakase experience, which is also known as chef's choice. Now every meal is different as the chefs try to make an effort to cater to your tastes and preferences. So over here we have some uh, very nice live lobster from uh, East Coast, Nova Scotia. Japanese tachuo, this is a cutlass fish. Very long, similar to a belt. Uh, madai, sea bream. Kimei dai, this is a golden eye snapper. Over here we have a baby madai, very similar. Sayori, uh, itayori, shimaji, and kampachi. One of the best yellowtail family fish you can get around. So this tuna, we will use it to serve our customers tonight coming in for the omakase dinner. A loin like this could go easily in one day. This will probably be gone by the end of tonight. Over here, we have uh, old toro. This is the bottom belly part. So up here, where is bread? It's, uh, we call akami. This is the lean part of the tuna. And as you progressively get down, you'll see a marble change like a gradient. So the very pink stuff is the bottom of the belly, and this is closer to the back. If you cut this up, it would be chutoro, which is one of uh, the favorite cuts for most customers. Over here is much fattier and very pink. And this is the old toro. And I would say people often come here for the toro. There's some really unique things that are done here. They season all their rice using Japanese seed short grain that's grown from California. They also have these rare Japanese flowers that are not only decorations, but are edible as well. Mm -hmm. 